All right, hey guys, welcome in today. Got a new video for you guys. I'm back at you with a Jordan 11. This one I'm gonna simplify a little bit. I actually have the shoe um, right here, one of the versions. I have several versions of these shoes, um, but these are really, really one of my favorite shoes ever. Um, but the video that I have done before is a little bit more detailed because the shoe does have a lot of really cool details, um, but from a distance is the part that I'm gonna get to just to kind of simplify some of the shapes because a lot of the, uh, the details and everything in my other video is a little bit longer. So I'm gonna to try to speed this one up, make it a little bit shorter. But I just wanna show you the shoes that I have. These are a little bit old on here. These are kind of beat up on here, but that's why I like them, because they're a little bit weathered on there. So let's get right into it. So it started out very similar to how I do before with kind of a line in the back, almost like an L shape. L shape. So once you have that shape, um, it's important to kind of bring that back up. Not too high, but not too low, kind of right in that middle, kind of where the toe always goes. And then that angle that kind of goes right up to the tongue. And then this one kind of goes straight across. It has a little bit of a scoop, so I guess you can kind of put that little scoop on there. And that's the basics. Now for this one, I'm not gonna go over it darker so you can see because some of those little parts, I don't I don't want it to be as straight as this. I want you to just get an idea for this. Um, but on the bottom, it kind of bumps out. So it has a little bit more curve on one side. And then it also has one more. And then the last one also kind of brings right back around. So it really has kind of one, two, three and i think if you can get that kind of bottom that one two three and then to curve around connect up to the top i think that overall shape will really help one thing that also helps that really doesn't make it look like um, the jordan shoe yet is adding that tongue and that tongue is really a, a strong point that kind of goes right out from the um from that kind of over by the shoelaces and it kind of comes up and then back down. And I think once you have that part, then it starts to look like a more realistic shoe. Um, so a couple more of those details. It has a little bit of a bump on the back, goes a little bit more flat on there, and then like I said, arches up to there. So now we got some of those. I'm going to worry about is kind of that big kind of black piece that kind of curves around the whole shoe. I'm going to take that that curve from up there, and I'm going to go kind of up, and then it goes down, and then it goes back up and then down. So it's kind of like two bumps. There's kind of like that first bump and then that second bump. Bring that right to the toe. So it'll kind of curve up like that. Now this one's kind of, I can already tell it's a little bit smaller. So I know that, that, that on this shoe, when I actually have it there in front of me, see how it kind of stretches out quite a bit further and actually goes a little bit more narrow. Um, so I'm gonna bring that also onto my design. So it's okay if you kind of make mistakes, that's kind of why pencils have erasers on them that you can kind of tweak it a little bit. So I'm gonna bring that, this part, and then I'm gonna kind of curve that a little bit more around to kind of elongate or make that toe a little bit more out. And then I'll kind of meet that also with that bottom. And I think that looks a little bit more realistic for that shoe. Awesome. I know that whole shape comes around here and then we kind of have that second kind of bump on that bottom side. So it kind of starts over here, kind of goes down and then all the way across here, kind of goes up a little bit and then back down. So kind of when this part goes up, this part kind of comes down and then it goes up right away so it kind of has a little scoop on there and then this part really kind of comes just to the edge of the shoe on there awesome i like that on this bottom part kind of follows that same kind of scheme on here so if you want to kind of add a little small little part on there you can do that same part over here except it kind of bumps up a little bit Got that little part here, so that little shape. And then this one also has kind of a little shape that kind of continues up to here and then goes on there. It's almost like a little hook on there. 
And then we got the Jordan 11. I like that shape a lot. It looks really, really good um, with some of those details. And like I said, the more details, the better it's going to look. But I think this will help um, a lot of yours into some of those little simple shapes. The last um, couple simple shapes I'm going to put up here is an arch that kind of, when this scoops down, this arch really comes up here strong. So it goes all the way up to there, that shape. And then kind of those lines, um, there's, let's think, I'm actually counting on here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six little pieces. So one, two, three, four, five, six on there. And then each of those is kind of like a little rectangle. So I always add those next so that they can be like, kind of like little rectangles or little stripes on there. And you can kind of make those however you want or however you feel that they're gonna look the best. Um, the Jordan symbol is always going to be on the back here. That's going to be the last part. I'm going to put a little bit of a kind of dip down because there's a little kind of black piece that goes on the back of that one. Um, for this one, I'm not going to do shoelaces, but if you want to look at my other one, you can click in the link in the description below. That one has shoelaces. This one's I'm not because I'm going to make it a little bit more basic. Um, but if you just want to kind of cap off those kind of tops, that'll save you guys some time. Um, when I first started doing a lot of the shoes, and especially the Air Jordan 11s, I wouldn't put the laces because I was kind of scared and intimidated. Um, but now I've started to do that. But when you're first starting, I think that's a good trick and tip to have is just to kind of have some sort of flat piece in the front there. And then for the Jumpman, um, a really good tip that I've always done for Jumpman is almost thinking of it kind of as like an X, um, almost like stick figure kind of before. So let's get on to him. So we're going to do kind of a upside down V. And then his little body. And then one arm kind of goes back. And then almost at that same angle. So if you want him to just kind of stretch up high, you want him for his ball that he's kind of dunking on there. And this one kind of is pointing backwards, so the ball will kind of put a circle. And that's how I always start off my Jordan symbols, is kind of with that kind of stick person shape on there. So again, I'm trying to simplify it. Now he looks a little skinny on there, but then I always kind of, I, I go down on the bottom and I add his kind of sweatpants because if you actually know the picture, he has sweatpants and then a shirt. So I make it a little bit thicker, add his shirt to make his body a little bit thicker or his torso. And then his arms are still pretty thin, but I kind of put a line on the bottom down there for his hands, make his head a little bit more round and give his arms a little bit more kind of connecting to his head up there. So now he's starting to look a little bit more realistic, um, but I forgot my favorite part is shoes. So I do kind of one shoe down there with a line and then one shoe kind of going up. So that shoe is kind of pointing up a little bit and it kind of looks like a Jordan symbol. I like it on there. Okay, so I'm gonna outline this in Sharpie, um, go over some of those details um, and then I'll put the little X I, which in Roman numerals means Jordan 11, which is definitely one of my favorite Jordans. So let's go through that real quick. All right, so there it is. I think it looks pretty similar to that. So I'm gonna set that one aside. Um, so what, of course, I'm gonna do for the background is I'm gonna have some fun with the background, but I think I'm actually gonna kinda go off my track a little bit. Um, like I said, I always kinda come up with ideas as I'm going on this. And I think I'm gonna leave the shoe the way it is because I like how that looks. Um, but one thing I wanna do for the background is really I want to get for you guys um, a lot of colors on here. So I'm going to do like a cool little rainbow background. Um, but when you guys do this shoe, color the shoe whatever you want. Um, one of my favorite colors is kind of like this blue um, or almost like a Carolina blue because he played at North Carolina. So I, I would do kind of like, like a blue kind of version because there aren't too many blue um, Jordan 11s out there. So I'm going to have some fun with the background, really have some fun with this and almost use this as like a kind of um, coloring book kind of sheet or like a color sheet that you could really style and do this you know seven different times and each one will look totally different so i'm gonna have some fun so let's go through that really really fast
All right, so there it is. Thought it looked really, really cool. I like how it kind of pops out. As always, I am Mr. Shooty. This is Mr. Shooty's art channel, and we will talk to you guys later.